Shalom, shalom, shalom. I'm live and direct. I'm live and direct. Those who are watching me, I'm live and direct now. Those who are watching me, I'm live. I'm direct on Facebook. I'm live and direct on YouTube. Make sure you leave your comments. Let me know you're watching me from. If your comments. If you come, let me know where you're watching me from. Where you're watching me from. Type your name, type your country, you're watching me from. Greetings, so are you? Yes, so are you, myself, I see you, can you Greetings, greetings. Can you show on Facebook? Can you show on Twitter? How are you? Yes, how is Jamaica doing? How is Jamaica doing? Yes, this is good. God is great. God is really great. I see what God is doing. Jamaica is using you in a mighty way. God is using you in a mighty way. God is using you in a mighty way. Yes. Yes, good. So, what are you doing? Where are you? Where are you from Zimbabwe? Type your name in your country. Type your name in your country on Facebook. It's my Facebook group. That is my son, Siboniso. You're watching me from Zimbabwe. God bless you, my son. Hi, Zimbabwe. God is going to do something great in Jamaica. He's going to do something great in Jamaica through you. Yes, I think I this my son, I my son send to send to five, ten people I'll call and pray for you. Or call and pray for you. Send to five people, ten people, ten people, ten people, I'll call and pray. I see so my son. They were writing me from all over. Somebody type Psalms. It will be looking at the secret. I told you the Psalms is a secret book. It's a secret book I'm going through whatever the mystery the deep mystery in that book of Psalms. Deep mystery, that book is the only book that has got power. Life fire is in that book. When you master the book of Psalms, you can do a lot of things spiritually in the spirit. I told you Psalms is not a, a, a book that you can read. How are you, Ananias? Greetings. Grace my son on She says, Yes, greetings to my prophet from Namibia. How is Namibia doing? God bless you. The saints in Namibia are soon going to be blessed. I see a change coming in that nation of Namibia because I see some of the things like contracts. Shalom, type your name when you're watching me from. Yes, whatever I decree has happened. Yes, I told you the book of Psalms. Let me tell you something about the book of Psalms. It's a second book. It's not like a normal book. It's a book that when you read it, your life changes. The book of Psalms. It wasn't written, it wasn't written to be read. It's written, it was written to be sung. It's a song. That's why it says composed by. They always say composer. This person composed the Psalms. But the Psalms means the song that they sing. So Psalms chapter 7, somebody try to type it. We'll be dealing with... Yes, 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 that's good. I told you last year that there's going to be exposure that's coming to the you're seeing the things that's coming. The new structure and department, that is the beginning of the exposure. The people are going to be exposed. Share with 10 people. Somebody type Psalms chapter 7. Psalm chapter 7. Yes. Psalm chapter 7, somebody type it. Psalm chapter 7. That's where I'll be. In case you've never heard before. 
Yes, some chapter seven. Whatever you're facing, difficulty, challenges, things, open the book of Psalms and read it. Whatever the enemies attack you in every direction, open that book of Psalms and just read it on that book, sing it, dance with it. Psalm 7, yes. Psalm 7, yes, my son. Share the depth of the sharing deep mystery. Yes. Psalms 7. If you found it, Psalm chapter 7. Let me tell you something about why David wrote these Psalms. I'll give you deep mystery about the Psalms. This Psalms was written by David. Psalm chapter 7. It was written by David. When Sibonis, are you greeting? Yes, I see you from Zimbabwe. Yes. Somebody type Psalm. Yes, Psalm chapter 7. Yes, 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 yes. This Psalms was 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 composed by David when he was being attacked by King Saul. King Saul had sent people to kill him. Who is them? Saul had people that were searched for this all over and kill him. And whatever they find, he sent thousands of people, soldiers, that whatever they find in it, they should kill David. I'm coming to him. I'm seeing this. That working so send people to. And David was in the process of praying. You know, this time David was David was about 22 years. And David, the only thing to, to kill David was because David was more successful in the military. Than the Bible says when they will go for war battle, they come back. They will be singing and praising David. They will say, David. They say Saul killed 1,000 men, but David killed 10,000 men. And King Saul was not happy. Because they said David killed more men than him. That's the reason why King Saul was very happy. Psalm 7, yes. Sibony says, Psalm 7. I see your message. I'm seeing your message. I'm reading. I'm reading. I'm reading. I'm reading. I'm reading. Saul says, so Saul was so jealous because David was not successful. So he sent the army to kill him, and he knew David was anointed by Sam, by Prophet Samuel to become king. And how did they anoint David? Samuel went in front in the house of Jesse. God had told Samuel, like, go to the house of to one of his sons, appoint one of his sons as king. And when Prophet Samuel went to the house of Jesse, Talk how about you, my daughter? Yes. I want to pray for you specifically. Let me tell you something. God is going to bless you. I was a UK. Type in type number. Type. Type your some of you please type your prayer, prayer request because after this, I'm gonna start praying for you. Type your prayer request and then they know your family, those you want to pray for. The reason so wanted to this the <clears throat> anointed David, he went to the house of, of Jesse and he told all the sons of Jesse to pass in front of a white stone. And as they passed, that stone did not light up. The stone did not light up. But when, after the last song of Jesse had passed, the Bible says, Samuel asked Jesse, he says, do you have any other son? And Jesse said, no, I don't have any other son. He says, but I have one other boy that is in the, in the bush, taking care of the sheep. Samuel said, go and bring that son. When they brought the son, that stone, the stone that the prophet Samuel was holding, it lit up in front of David. That's why the prophet Samuel and David was supposed to be king. Naomi, how are you? I mean, yes, yes, my daughter, good, 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 yes, 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 shalom, shalom. Because of jealousy, King Saul was so jealous of David that he decided that he's going to kill David. He sent thousands of soldiers to look for them. He told them, look for David wherever you are, David, kill him. There are people that are your life just because of jealousy. Not because of anything you have done. Because God has promoted you. When God blesses you, the enemy sends people to destroy you. Okay, I'll pray for you. Yes, type your prayer request. I'm, I'm putting this, I'm going to pray. 
Type your parents that are going to pray because this is Psalms that they don't leave, don't leave without be calling them and praying. Type your prayer request. You and your family, whoever you need to pray for, things are going to release as I pray. Yes. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. There are people that will get promoted immediately. You turn into your enemy. There are people that at the moment you get that new job, immediately you become your enemies. I don't know if anything you've done with this prophet. Yes, I'll my daughter again. And this is what happened to David. Only because Samuel anointed him. Not going to be immediately, King Saul is going to kill him. Aaron, shalom, how are you doing? I see you, I see you. God bless you. Yes, 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 yes. Type a prayer request. Type a prayer request. Share to 10 people. I'm going to call and pray for you. Type your prayer request. Share to 10 people. I'm going to call and pray for you. And then you wrote these Psalms. That's when he said, they call this Psalm the Shigayan. Shigaya. He says, Oh Lord my God, he says, Lord, it just says, Lord, he says, Oh Lord my God, in you do I will not trust. Oh, the internet. There's something that's not to the internet. Uh, let me check this out. Yes. 
is. Yes, I don't know if you can see me. Shit to ten people, yes, ten people, ten people. Type your prayer request when I call you. Yes, shit to ten people. I don't see a ten people. Share, send me WhatsApp to say your shit to ten people. WhatsApp me and says, one of God, I share to ten people. Yes, it's bad now. Share with ten, ten people. Ten, send me the WhatsApp messages. Let me see. I'm going to call and pray for you. Where are you, my daughter? Let me see. Okay. Have I see a message? Yes, the same message. Now we say pray for my family deliverance. There's something in your family where people they come close to success and they just fall back. They come very close to doing something. I'm speaking to you now, right now. I mean, they come very close to doing something, they just fail. It seems like I'm gonna go deeper. What's something I'm gonna tell you deeper? Shall this? Yes, Psalm chapter 7, Psalm chapter 7. And the word that, the word that David used to describe, so, use the word kosh. That word kosh is the, is, is, is the koshite. Koshites are people like leopards. They don't change. So in those days, the koshites were like, you know when they talk about a loop never changes the spots. The cautions don't change. He says Saul was so wicked that he will never change. King Saul. No matter what he will not change. That's what he took he called the soul the caution. Then he says, listen, tear me like a like a lion. David is telling God says. Jesus save me from this, from this wicked king, from this king soul. But he would tear me like a like lion is tearing his king. Yes. The reason, why, the reason God wants to save you is because God wants you to testify. He doesn't want to destroy because the person that is destroyed has no testimony. You cannot praise God without destruction. That's what he wants to testify. He wants his he wants your story to be known. He wants to be able to have a story to tell. That's why you're not allowing to be destroyed. You're allowing your life to be destroyed. Yes, he will not allow you your life to be destroyed. I see you, Gail. Yes, my daughter, Gail. How are you? Nothing. This is the God of Swiss. He rises up. He rises up. Do 
don't think God is sitting in heaven and just watching your enemy destroy life. No, it does, it's not going to work like that. He knows that day is coming. He says, I put my trust in you. I put my trust in you. There's nothing wrong with putting your trust in God. And there's nothing wrong with this, with this my daughter. Where is she now? Yes. There's nothing wrong in believing that God is in control. Let me see. I think it's internet. Um, get this internet. Story to tell, yes, you have a story to tell. That's why God will not allow you to suffer. There's nothing wrong in trusting God. To put your trust in God is, is strength, it's not weakness. It's you strength. Oh, you are blessed. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. It's, it's strength to put your trust in God. And it's not wrong to think to allow God to be in control. Many times, human beings, they think they're in control. Human beings are not in control. Nobody controls how this planet rotates. There's nobody that controls. There's no mathematician that controls when the sun rises and, and, and sets. There's no doctor that controls your heartbeat. Yes, I see you now. The network is back. I'm not going to be long. So make sure you share the one on one. Send to PayPal, West Union, MoneyGram. Share the one on one I call and I pray for you. I tell you deep things about your life. I tell you the root cause of what's happening in your life. There's no economist, no economist that can make a palm tree to grow. No matter how much you study agriculture. The growth of that palm tree is determined by the seas that God has set. Shalom, how are you, Gail? Yes. Gladys Bannister, how are you doing? How is the U.S.? Yes. God bless you, my daughter. Gail Williams. Look, those of you in the U.S., some of you begin to sort through PayPal. What's happening? Be sort through PayPal because I see it's... I already spoke to my kids in the U.K. about the economic, the economic crisis. No, me, how are you? That is true, prophet. Yes. I said there's no farmer. There's no person that studied agriculture. You can study agriculture till you get, you get bald head. You will never make a coconut tree to grow. It will grow in, in its own time. Mm. Yes, that's true. The blessing, that's true, prophet, yes. So God is in control. That's what David was saying. In you I put my trust. In you I put my trust. And they were saying, this thing that's happening to me, if I've done anything, yes, be the righteous God. What is happening, David, that sometimes people accuse you falsely. There are things that cannot stop you in life. People accusing you falsely. Sometimes you go to the work, you go to office, you do everything fine, fine, fine. They go to meetings, they accuse you that you are the one that did wrong. And they accuse you falsely and they bear false witness. They, bear false witness. they come and say, no, you are wrong. And you say, no, you are not wrong. You don't know what happened. They say, no, you know. There are many people that have lost their jobs like that. They accuse them of something they know nothing about. And this is what happened to David. David was asking, have I done anything in my hand? Have I, have I done anything to this person, to King Saul? And King Saul was his father-in-law because David got married to the daughter of, kings, of King Saul when he defeated Goliath. 
So his own father-in-law was the one that wanted to kill him. His own father-in-law. Uh, I said, share to 10 people, 10 people. That's my number. The WhatsApp me says, man, I want to show the private prophetic one. I want. I want to know the deep things. Yes, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your mystery. We thank you for your revelation. We thank you for this day. Yes. Some of you don't know how much God has been protecting you. The Bible says God doesn't sleep. He doesn't slumber. We sleep and we slumber. God does not sleep. He does not slumber. Meaning God does not snore. He doesn't sleep. And David says, for no purpose, even for no reward, I rescued him. He's talking about King Saul. There was a time they wanted to kill King Saul. People had come to destroy King Saul. They wanted to kill him. And David saved King Saul. And David says, this same king I saved today, King Saul, for no, he didn't reward me anything. He says, but this same person has turned against me. There are things that you do. Let me tell you something. In the dark world, you can do an, a good thing. A good thing becomes evil. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. You can do a good thing. That thing turns to evil. Bless you. And the Bible says, David, pray to, pray to God. I believe that prophet, yes. The Bible says, he says, David told him, he says, David says, arise, O Lord, in your anger. Judgment belongs to God. Don't take judgment into your hands. God says, judgment belongs to me. Yes. Somebody type in, judgment belongs to God. There are people that are laying traps against you while you are sleeping. There are people that are going to houses of witch doctor calling your name that you should die. There are people that are praying and fasting that you suffer. There are people that have sacrificed chicken, goats, cows that you suffer that you don't prosper. And some of you don't know that. Judgment belongs to God, yes. God says, vengeance in his mind, I will repay. Yes. Yes. And David said, this talk, he said, God, lift up yourself in rage. He said, lift up yourself. God is not sleeping. He's walking behind the scenes. You may think it's over, but it's not over. You may think there's no hope, there's hope. You may think time has passed, but time is coming. You may think there's no way. God has a way that you, you may not even see it, but the way is there. Yes. You may think it's finished. You may think your life is finished. There are many people that think their life is finished. There are many people that think that there is no way. There is no hope for me. Let me tell you something. God knows. Yes. God hides in two places. There are two places that God hides. God hides within you. He hides within, inside of you. God hides inside of you. And God hides inside your problems. Meaning inside that problem will come a solution, will come a blessing. Inside that struggle, that's where the blessing is going to come.
That's why people as well as God, I cannot see God though. He hides his two places. Inside of you is inside your problems. Inside that same problem, there's a solution. It's a bigger blessing. Shalom, how are you doing? Mapule. Yes, God bless you. Shalom, 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 shalom. Yes, so let me say, share, share one, one seat. I'm going to go very soon. What's the time now? I'm going to be long. He's got. There was a woman that was fired from a job. After she lost her job, she started making pancakes. From that pancakes, after losing her job, she started making pancakes and selling to her, the colleagues that they fired her from the company. From that pancake, one call, the colleagues started telling other colleagues, they told other friends. She ended up with two of two uh, cookers, three, four. Her whole kitchen was full of 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 of, uh, of uh, cookers to fry pancakes. She hired people to start frying pancakes. She now owns a pancake, big pancake this, uh, restaurant where she do, does pancakes and she just distributes to companies, to events, all kinds of things. But the wisdom came the day she lost her job. I told you, your, your life is like an orange. Yes. When you squeeze an orange, that's when the juice comes out. Whenever you find yourself under pressure, life is squeezing you, that's when that juice, the juice, the sweetness of your life comes out. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Some of you don't know. Yes, Shalom Professor Papa Hatless. Yes. It's the devil. The devil is using them. Joshua. David told God, he said, God, arise. Some of you need to tell God this night. Arise in my situation. Arise. There are people that are facing cases, accused for nothing. There are people that are going through serious Serious financial problems. Sometimes not their fault. If they started a business, the business failed. They took all their pension, their savings, everything started this business. The business failed. Don't give up. Tell God to arise. When God arises, Ay, ay, ay. Some people are struggling from one sickness. Any money that they make, it goes to the hospital, the doctors. They are working like they're not working. Every salary is for hospital bill. Tell God, arise. Type it now, arise. Arise. You need to act your own faith. Don't rely on my faith. Act your own faith. Your own faith, the faith that you have. You speak it, you type it, you write it. That's the faith that works. You can't use another person's faith for your life. That's why I tell you to type, arise. God, arise. Type it. Yes, no. Let God, arise. Yes, type arise. You say on this, arise in that situation. Arise on that document. Arise. Whatever payment you're looking for, God will arise. Whatever court case of court you are going to win that case. Whatever situation that put you inside, whether it's financial problems, tell around is coming. God will arise. Yes. Thank you, Lord. David told God arise. David was the one to kill him. They were looking for him to kill him. Arise, arise, God arise. Yes. Arise, my children. Arise, some of you are your children. Your children, some of some of you don't even know where your children are. Some of you are children, all of them. No one child can help you. But it's time for God to arise. This is the enemy that's done that. I told you in life, don't be a quiet Christian. Quiet Christians suffer quietly. 
The devil wants you to be quiet. The moment you're a quiet believer, you suffer quietly. You, you silently, you suffer. The people that suffer silently, they don't tell you. But what they're going through, be a, a loud and rowdy believer. Tell the enemy, I shall live and not die. The devil is a liar. I shall succeed. I shall make it. I shall go forward. My life is forward and upward. No weapon fashion against me shall prosper. Pa, 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 pa. Every morning, speak that to yourself. You're going to work, you say, my life is forward and upward. You're going to a business, you say, my business shall prosper. You speak to that business, it shall prosper. Pasha Karabazo Chiri Mada. Hey. The Lord says, fear not, I'll be with you. There's no place where David was crying and begging, God, God, I'm finished. Oh God, I don't know what happened to me. God, I don't know. God, I don't know what the enemies. No, the Bible says they had surrounded David. The people that were looking for David had surrounded him. He knew they had surrounded him. His soldiers came and told David, David, you have been surrounded by the people that are looking for you. Mm. Arise, step, arise, arise. Say, God, arise. That's why he wrote in, in, in verse 7, he says, So shall the congregation of the people that encompass thee, for thy sake they have returned thou, O He says, He says, so he says, those people that you see that have surrounded me, he says, for your sake, rise up. That when they see your power, they're going to bow and worship you. Your enemies, your enemies, they may be many. Let me tell you. Yes, shalom He says, Amen. Yes. The enemies are surrounding you not because they want to destroy you. They are surrounding you, they are surrounding you for the glory of God. They are surrounding you to witness the manifestation of the power. That's what happened to this Elijah. That's why Elijah told all the prophets of Baal. He says, 700 of them. He says, 700 prophets of Baal. So let's go to Mount Carmel. He says, let's, this day, let's see who is God. If your God is God, let that God command fire from heaven. Let that fire come down. And the prophet of Baal went to the mountain. The crowd followed them. The whole, the whole city followed. And that day they were saying that that's the day that they were planning for Elijah to die because they knew, they thought that God is going to bring fire from heaven. And the Bible said they prayed from morning to evening. Nothing happened. There was no fire. I shall succeed, yes. I shall succeed. I like that, yes. Type it. Type what you want. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, share to 10 people. 10 people, send me the screenshots. I'll send, I'll share it. Let me see. So my WhatsApp messages. I'm live and direct. Yes, live and direct. Yes, my daughter Gail, yes. See, I've come to bring the words. I'm watching a prophet. Yes, Aaron. Now you I see your message on WhatsApp. You're watching. Yes, my son Aaron. I see you. I see you. God is going to lift you up. The time has come for your manifestation. The time has come. Make sure you get this anointed bit. It's anointed. Make sure you get it. The time has come. So I want to get anointed bit. WhatsApp now show you how you're gonna get anointed bit. Send it to you. Post it using postnet. Post it will send it to you directly. The next day you're gonna get it. Send it using digital express wherever you are in the world. Mm. Yes, my daughter Toko, how are you? Amen, 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 my daughter. Yes, 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 I see you. I see you, my daughter Toko. Yes. Share, 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 share. I shall leave. You shall leave and not die. You shall leave. Tabang, how are you? I see, I see Tabang. Oh, my goodness. Yes, God, God is good. God is good. God is shaking things on order. Yes, God is putting things in order. Putting things and rearranging things. This thing that is coming. I prophesied like other prophecy. Some of you need to pray. Those of you in Europe, wherever you pray, I prophesied about this war in Ukraine. Who remember the prophecy I gave you the word about the war in Ukraine? I will talk about I was prophet since last year I was prophesied about the war in Ukraine. As I said, Russia attacking, and I even said it's going to spread all over Europe. And let me tell you what's going to happen. This war, this fighting in Ukraine, is going to get even worse. Many countries are going to join. It's not going to finish anytime soon. 
They already talk about nuclear war. A nu one nuclear bomb can wipe out the entire London. One nuclear bomb. That's that's what we're talking about. So that's why people in Europe, I told people in Europe, when that time, I told my sons and daughters in Europe, I said, save your money, come back to Africa. Things are going to get fired up there in that in your in, in I've seen already the prophet who need to pray for God to do intervene. This, this is something that God is there's no solution. Don't think there's any solution, there's no solution. But don't think people just no, no only God and the prophet that out the scope I need to pray. Oh, yeah, yeah. I told you that this thing, Putin, I told you, what did that professor? Who remember that prophecy? Who remember the prophecy I gave about, about the war in Ukraine? And I said, Putin wants the entire Europe. He doesn't, he, the war is not about Ukraine. And I even said that you know, kill Ukraine or Ukraine, all this Ukraine I'm talking about. It's going to do Ukraine. Matter of fact, Ukraine used to be part of Russia. Yes, the Soren base, yes, yes. We shall succeed, yes. Yes. Yes, not coming to my house. Yes, he says. The, David says, "As they those that surround me, Lord, rise up, so that they will see your power." They are not. He said, "Those people that are surrounding me, those people that want to destroy me, rise up." David says, Lord, the Lord shall punish them according to their own wickedness. Not according to, no, he says, according to their wickedness. They, the thing that I've done to you is going to come back to them. I shall build my house. Yes, that's good. Yes, you shall build, you shall build my house. Yes. Be your house cash. Yes. Yes. Show them people. The David says, Lord, let the wickedness. Of these wicked people, he said, Let their wickedness, all their, 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 their evil deeds, he said, David said, Let it come to an end. It means the things that they're doing now, and even what they plan to do, put a stop to it. I pray, Father, I pray, Lord. So, when you speak it, let the, let the plan of the wicked, let the wickedness of the wicked, let it come to an end. Let the plans of the wicked, let it come to a stop. The thing that you suffer last year will not suffer this year again. You will not go to 2023 with the struggles of 2022. Yes, you shall learn and not borrow. Yes. God is a work. Yes. 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 Yes, I told you about it's so one Ukraine. I'm going to give another prophecy a live session to go detail what I see about this Iran, China, what is happening. And even India. The confusion that's happening. And even inside Europe, they'll start turning like a civil war inside Europe. European nation will rise up like a civil war. I'm not talking about uh, just just making some protest. No, they will rise up like civil war. Many people in Europe will pick guns against their governments. They don't want to say that government. They're tired. I prophesied already. I said this about Europe. This month, this winter, we need to pray. And David says the wickedness, let the wicked, they are wicked people like all those people that are creating wars, those wicked people, the people that benefit from war, the people that warfare is, is a business, meaning they sell arms, they make, they sell guns, they sell all kinds of things. That's business war. The war must not end because the war ends, that business ends. So there are people that, that are evil people. They create wars and they sell guns and arms and weapons to big profits. That's why people die. That's why every time you hear that they have shipped how many weapons, they keep shipping weapons. Weapons are just being shipped. Billions are being shipped. Billions are spent. Those, the money that is being spent is going to their pocket. 
The business of wars of people, they make money from blood, other people's blood. As a world we're living in, I told the Antichrist, very soon Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming very soon. There will be one prophecy that will give the date, the month that Jesus will return. Until the time I'll raise that prophecy, the time I'll you come. When I'll tell you the season, that season, that, that around the time that you'll come. He'll come in a month that is called the month of the trumpets. I don't want to go deeper. The season that he will come. He studied, he studied the things I've seen in the prophetic. He will come in that season where they, they, where they're celebrating a holiday called the holiday of the trumpets. During that holiday, the Jewish holiday, that I'll tell you as the time gets closer, I'll begin to tell you, reveal to you exactly what time. That trumpets. Yeah, but it's, it's a holiday of trumpets. All the Jewish children, everybody blows trumpet. It's a holiday, so a holiday of, trump, of the trumpets. As we blow those trumpets, as the time just will come back. It's coming back very soon. Study your Bible about the, the battle of Gog and Magog. You study all those things. You need to see things are happening closer, but the rapture is coming. First, the church, the church will be taken up. I'll give you that time. Things in the Bible are not written like it's, it's, it gives you the season. I told you the Bible is not written in like one, two, three days. No, it gives you the season that Jesus will come back. It tells you the season. It's even very clear that it says when the trumpet shall, shall sound. Go and read it in the Revelation. So there'll be a trumpet. He'll come in that holy day of the trumpets, the Hebrew holy day of the trumpets. That's a that season that he'll come in that season. But which of the holy day of the trumpets? But in that holy day of the trumpets, that's when Jesus will come. There's a holy day called the holy day of the trumpets. The Hebrew, in the Hebrew calendar. Go and check it. In that holy day, I told you, it's season. During that season, he'll come. But which then is very close. So putting his fire is not far. So we take that time. When that, that's why it says when you hear that trumpet sounding. It's telling you already, it's giving you an indication of the holy day, the season. Somebody type this the, the holy day of the trumpets. It's a holy day of the trumpets. And that holy day of the trumpets is it's a, it's a Jewish holy day that has been celebrated for many years, thousands of years. And that holy day of the trumpets is celebrated when they welcome the king. That's the meaning of the trumpet. When they blow the trumpet, they're welcoming the king. It's a holy day. It's a Jewish holy day. When that, during, it's during that season I will come. But which time, I'll tell you. Which year, which year. I'll close, I'll tell you, and I'll tell you, I'll show you the year it's aligned with it's a number that I aligns it. So I really have the scorpion. Tap on the door of the trumpets, yes. Go, some of you go and after this message, go and check it. Jewish holiday called Holy Day of the Trumpets. It's a trumpet holiday, and that holiday of the trumpet is to blow the trumpet to welcome the king. And everybody's out set outside to go and blow the trumpet to welcome the king. That's the time just going to come back. When you start hear that trumpet, the people will be blowing the trumpet. God bless, yes. Thank so much, yes. And David says, my defense is of God, which saves the upright. And David says, my defense is of God, which saves the upright. He says, God saves those that are upright. He saves them. And he says, those wicked people, they have bent, they have taken their, their sword and they have bent their bow, meaning they have prepared their bow, bent it, and they have taken their sword to shoot. To shoot. 
And this is what David says. David says, the hole that they have dug against me, he says, that pit, the pit they dug against me, they will fall inside that pit. Try again. Somebody should type it. Yes. Yes. I saw it. I see the pit they have dug against you. And the, the pits they have dug against you, the trap they have set against you, the things that they have, they have decided they will do to them, he says, you will, will come back to them. That's what God, David says, they will, he will judge them according to their own wickedness. If somebody was planning for you to lose your job, that person will not lose his job. If somebody's evil plans was for, to destroy your marriage, that person is the one that his own marriage will be destroyed. If the evil plan was to bring witchcraft and kill your children, their children are the one that will be killed. Okay, so let me reload this page. The devil is a liar. That's why he says God will judge. He said, judge them, judge them according to their wickedness. And he says, he said. Yes. According this is because this is the wicked people they plan mystery day and night. They don't sleep. Yes. yes. See, see the youth face is drying up. Yes. The youth face is drying up. The book of Revelation is being fulfilled. Yes. So they prophesy. The walls of the temple are being built. The temple is being built. It's the, it's, they've located the wall, everything, the dimension to build that temple again. The third temple is the third time they're building it. And that third time, that's the time just is coming back. The temple that was built, that temple, God promised David. He told David, "So it's in your in your house." So the, the king will come from your house. He said, "Build the temple for me. Build the temple and give David all the dimensions." He said, "Build it." He said, "Because because of you, because of your faith, the Savior, the Messiah, the Messiah, the Messiah is going to come from your house. That's why they call Jesus Son of David." We call Jesus son of David. Because David was a, David had a radical faith. He never gave up. Yes, when trumpet says, says the, the Messiah is coming. So when you hear the trumpets. Yes. Mm. So people think this life, this life is God's life. This life is God's life. You shall life for God. Thank God for your life by using your life to serve Him. Yes, I need to go very soon. God bless you. I see some of your messages that you're sending on WhatsApp. God bless you. I pray for you, my daughter. Talk yes. Yes, my daughter Cecilia. See you. Shalom, shalom. Don't forget to come. Yes. Yes, I'll call my daughter Cecilia. Yes, yes. Shalom, my son, Zavi, how are you? Yes, my son, Zavi, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you.
Yes. Yes. I've been doing a session. So many people write to me about their dreams. Yes. So I pray for you. Yes. Put a prayer request. I pray for you. I pray for your family. I pray for your business. I pray, Lord. I pray that your eyes will be open, that you see, you see the plans of the wicked. I pray that you overcome them, the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that no weapon fashion against you shall prosper. I pray that the joy of the Lord will fill you to overflow. You'll be fulfilled in whatever you do. Whatever you touch shall prosper. They shall come in one way and they shall flee in ten different ways. Yes. Yes, my daughter girl, I pray for you. I pray that, that sickness will go away. I pray that you will not move from hospital to hospital. You will not move from doctor to doctor. God bless you. God bless you. I told you that two kinds of prophet pastor. When I'm under the influence of the anointing, like I'm speaking now like this. You can look at me in the day, I'm a normal human being. When I start to talk about the things of God, another spirit enters out of me. The spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Lord. The Bible said the prophet Elijah was a man just like we are. You see, prophet Elijah was just like you and I. The Bible said that he prayed, he did not rain for three and a half years. Rain did not fall. She was a normal person. He said, the prophet Elijah was a man just as you are. Just as you are. He said, just, just as you are. That's how prophet Elijah was. Just as you are. He said, but when he, he prayed for, he did not, rain did not fall down for three and a half years and there was a drought. When the spirit enters a person, whatever he alters in that time, something else. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says Moses, Moses could not talk. He used to stammer, could not talk because his tongue was a hot coal as burnt his tongue. Moses could not talk. He didn't know how to speak. But when Moses went up the mountain and came back, his face was shining like light. He went for 40 days and 40 nights up the mountain. When he came back, his whole face was glowing. Thank you, Jesus. Life is not about the most important people, the most important people in your work, the most important people in your community, the most important people, the most important thing about your career is the people that you meet. The most important people in your, in your education are the people you meet. Treat the people nice. Yes. That's the mystery of the blessing. To bless you. I need to go now. Amen.